So we will be replacing this analog camera with the IP Hike Vision camera. We will first start by removing the analog camera that we have in place. As you can see, I have multiple wires here because I'm always doing camera demos. Um, I'm going to always leave this here for analog setup and I'm going to terminate this one for uh, IP camera setup. All right, so we're gonna take the screws off so we can mount the camera. Take the dome cover off. So one step I forgot to tell you before I put the 45 end on, you may wanna slide this piece on your wire and I'll show you why in a second. I don't plan to keep 
this camera up so I don't really want to cut the end off and put this on and then later I have to cut the end off again to take it back off so what I'm going to do is just plug the camera in and, and just a, put a little piece of tape on it so first thing I want to do is make sure that the camera snaps in but it doesn't really snap in again I'm just this is temporary so you wouldn't do this in, your, in a normal installation you would use the proper piece that came with the camera but for a demonstrational purpose I plan to use a piece of tape because I don't want to cut my 4 to 5 end off Alright, so now we're just going to go plug this uh, network plug in. As you can see, we got link status already. So it's seeing the camera. Okay, so there is a couple ways to hit this camera once you have put it on your network. One way is uh, if you know how to change your static IP on your computer, that's an option for you as well because Hypevision actually packaged all the boxes, that, all their cameras with the IP address, the username, and the password as you can see. This is the default IP address and the default information that's in it. Um, the other way is you can use their search tool. You can install the search tool and this would automatically go out and find the camera on your network. All right, so as you can see, Hackvision software went out and found the camera on the network. So here is where you can set up all the protocols to match your network scheme. Um, I'm going to leave that as default and change my computer over to the static IP address. Now that the camera is on your network, it's time to hit the interface of the camera by putting in the IP address. Whatever the one that, whichever IP you have given the camera or if you're using it with the default IP like I am right now, which is 192.0.0.64. <clears throat> username. Your username would be admin. And your password is one, two, three, four, five, unless you've changed it. Hit enter. In some cases, uh, you will see a pop up that tell you to enable a uh, uh, um, plugin for your browser. In my case, uh, I had already installed the plugin. So, as you can see, here's the camera. Um, the camera needs some adjustment because this is not exactly what I'm trying to see. So uh, let's go adjust the camera and then we'll go through some of the features and the settings inside of the camera. So now that we're back outside, um, going to loosen up the camera again, just take the lens off. It'd be really helpful if you have somebody else looking at the camera while you're aiming it or if you have the camera on the network itself, you can, you know, uh, put it on a tablet and then come out and 
make the fine tune adjustment. So in my case, I have somebody else inside and I'll be making a phone call and having them telling me how to adjust it the way I like. So you would use this tool here. Um, actually, you wanna take this uh, star head screw and loosen up the dome a little bit. Um, take this little align tool, you stick it in and then you can plug it, pull the camera up, down, left, right, uh, and even twisting it depending on whatever suits your need. So now that we have aimed the camera to the location and the field of view that we want it to see, um, there's a few things in this camera that you know I should point out to you guys so that you feel a little comfortable playing around the interface. You know, here you have the log out, so if you wanted to log out of the camera, um, you're free to do so. It just tell you who you're logged in as, and we're logged in as the admin under the configuration button. Um, let's go look at some of the uh, goods they have in here. So if you wanted to reboot the camera, you reboot the camera here. Um, restore the camera. If you had like uh, a setting or certain parameters, you can restore a camera. If you decided you wanted to save something, um, you could. Uh, if there's a setting you really like, uh, you could do that. Um, you can default it to factory default. Um, import your configuration if you had one. Um, you can export it if you set up this camera to do certain things you can export it and save it for a later camera um, You can upgrade your firmware here by browsing to a file and then um, upgrading uh, Under the network setting uh, Let's make sure I didn't skip something. Sorry. I did um, on the time you can set up your time zone to be wherever you I'm in the eastern time zone so I'm going to set mine up to eastern um, and NTP server we will do that uh, making sure all this is good uh-huh um, network uh, if you wanted yours on you know this is where you can also go in here and change your settings I, I'm not going to change this uh, you know but if you wanted to if you know what your network scheme was you can set it up here default IP address of your router um, your subnet mask um, you know these are the basic network features inside of the camera uh, this camera does have audio so if you wanted to record or listen in with audio you have the ability to do so now that I've clicked that you should bring up my picture now and you know I Obviously, I have to install another plugin to be able to do this. So uh, let's give it a second um, and it should pop up. Because this lets you make real time adjustment while you're actually looking at the image. So if at nighttime your camera is being washed out by certain things, you can control the backlight setting, the white balance, the image enhancements. You know, you can go through those basic features. Okay, what's going on? So finally it popped up, you know, it took a little while, uh, or whatever. Um, but you can make real live image adjustment while you're watching your image right now. You can go in here and turn your iris to auto or manual. Um, <clears throat> So in the security section is where you add users. You have an advanced um, configuration setting as well. I'm not gonna go through everything in this video because it'll just make the video a little more lengthy. Um, I'm just, this should wrap it all up right now and um, I hope you guys enjoy the video.